Hey girls, hey, or should I say, hey gym rats? <laughs> y'all, I'm back with another video and I'm about to help y'all grow y'all glutes. But today we're talking about in the kitchen. So first of all, I want to tell y'all, count your calories. Count them, count them, count them, count them, count them. Count them calories, girl, okay? <laughs> y'all, I'm so excited. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for y'all since last week when my video blew up. <laughs> I really wanted to share with y'all my secrets on how I grow my glutes or how I grew my glutes, whatever, whichever way you want to put it. Um, but I got really sick and I wasn't able to do this video for y'all, but now I'm feeling a whole lot better and I have a lot of tips for y'all. So again, first tip is to count your calories. I have the app MyFitnessPal but I'm sure there's a million apps out there that'll help you out with counting your calories. Um, I just wanna say, you don't have to get obsessive with it and scan every single piece of food that you eat for the day. But what I will do is, I plan out what I'm gonna eat for the most part. Breakfast, I know I'm gonna eat two eggs, um, some hash browns, French toast, whatever. And I look at the package and I say, okay, this is how many calories this is. It this is. I know my um, goal for the day is twenty. Let's say twenty seven hundred. I know if I eat this, that, and that, I'm gonna get all of my calories in. So that's what I do. I count my calories, make sure I know exactly what I'm eating for the day. That way, it's easy. Um, I'm not scrambling around looking for calorie last minute calories at the end of the night because I know exactly what I need to eat when I need to eat it and how I need to eat it and I also switch up my meals um almost every day or every other day because I get bored with food I cannot eat the same stuff every day even when I meal prep y'all I have two options maybe one option for lunch um and breakfast I just switch it up probably every day but that's me if you're able to eat the same stuff every single day go ahead go for it girl go ahead but me, I get sick of eating fast. Um, next tip, get you a mass gainer protein and make you a mass gainer shake and use that as a snack. By no means am I telling you to use a meal replacement. This is an addition. And a di this is an add-on. Okay, add it on. And I'm a visual girly, so I am going to show you guys the protein I eat <laughs> or drink. <laughs> yeah. This big guy right here, my bestie. I drink one of these a day. Um, the serving size is four scoops, 650 calories, but I always do half. Um, so I do two scoops and I add, actually I made a video for y'all on everything I add in my shake and I'm pretty sure it's well over 600 calories. So make sure y'all go watch that video. I'm gonna link it in the bio or oh, wait. This is YouTube. I'm gonna link it in the description for y'all. I want y'all to go check out that video. Um, I want y'all to check out my recipe. That is how I make my shake really good. Oh my God, because I hate protein. Um, it's disgusting to me and I have to make it good. And I love, I love shakes. I love milkshakes, smoothies, all of that. Anything like really frozen and good, I love. So I think if y'all like all of that, like me, y'all like sweet stuff, y'all will like my protein shake. Um, Another thing is, y'all, um, another tip for adding, actually, let me give y'all some tips for adding extra calories throughout the day. Add some olive oil to your food. <laughs> y'all, I promise it's so good. Don't judge me if you don't do it. But olive oil has, y'all, a tablespoon, I didn't even notice. One tablespoon of olive oil has 119 calories. Please add some olive oil to your dinner or your lunch. Let's say you're eating pasta or chicken and rice. Pour it on top. <laughs> Y'all, it's actually good. Um, if your food, you heating up your food from the next day, this is going to ensure that your food is not dry. That's a lot of calories. I'm not saying pour the whole thing on there. Don't do that. Don't you do that. Um, but definitely add that. And then, y'all, my favorite snack is peanut butter and apples. <laughs> it's high in protein, 190 calories for um, two tablespoons. You can literally eat two tablespoons in one bite for real. 
No, let me stop. But um, no, peanut butter, 190 calories and seven grams of protein. If you like peanut butter and apples or peanut butter and bananas, definitely add peanut butter to your snack. Um, and then potatoes. Oh my God. You have to add sweet potatoes to your uh, routine. Y'all, sweet potatoes is, sweet potatoes are a good post-workout snack, but I eat them with my dinner and I eat dinner right after I work out. So, um, if that helps you, um, they're good for your muscles. Pro blah, blah, blah. <laughs> sweet potatoes strengthen those tendons that you need when you're lifting weights. Add that, girl, add that. And then not only do I have my mass scanner, I have my regular whey protein. Ah, from my protein. That's my favorite pro Oh my God, I almost dropped it. That is my favorite protein, y'all. Oh my God, it's only 100 calories, um, but it has 18 grams of protein and you can literally drink this with your breakfast. Mine, I have the flavor mocha, literally tastes like coffee. Sometimes I don't even need coffee. I just like how coffee tastes. So I just drink my protein shake and bam, right there. Don't even need the caffeine. So if you're a girly that don't even need all that caffeine for real, is it caffeine in this? No, it's not. Why would it be caffeine in my protein? If you don't need the caffeine for real, girl, if you don't get this mocha protein, it's so good. <laughs> Literally my favorite protein brand ever. Um, I just bought some more protein. But those are my tips and tricks in the kitchen. Um, Literally, peanut butter, protein shakes, the mass gainer, and make it taste good, add the extra stuff in there. Go watch my video for that. And olive oil, add that olive oil, girl. Um, I'm a chicken and rice girly as well. So that's probably, you know, what I eat for the most part when, um, well, after I work out. Um, either chicken and rice or steak and potatoes. Those are my favorite things to eat for dinner. Oh. <laughs> But I hope that helps y'all. Let me know if y'all need any more tips, workouts, tricks, whatever. Let me know because I'm here to help y'all grow. Um, and y'all, this is my story of how I went from like 114 pounds to 125. And it does not stop there, y'all. We bulking again. Why do you think I'm why do you think this is like <laughs> This is bulking season, girl. Even though I got sick and my work for the past, what, three weeks just went to waste, it's okay. I'm going to do it again. Starting over tomorrow. What, when is December? Friday? Yeah, baby girl, pick it right back up. Don't even worry about it. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for being patient with me. And I can't wait to see y'all results. Make sure y'all tag me on Instagram. Go find me. Follow me. I follow back. Um, and tag me in your results and let me know what's up. Let me know where you're starting from and how it's going for you, what I can do to help you. Make sure y'all connect with me. Love y'all. Bye. See y'all in the next one.